So this is it, the, the brass was, well, you couldn't tell it was metal, it was absolutely black. Um, that's the best I can bring it back to life. Um, the wood needed a bit of uh, filling in places, but it doesn't look too bad. We've got some new brass bolts. So here we go. tightening up there we go first time in three and a half years we've got a tiller and we've got a rudder <laughs> right to the point so we'll leave that out of the way yes very pleased with that See this place is there. I've had to fill and was a crack which I opened out and put some thickened epoxy in. So uh, hopefully it will last another 10 years. <laughs> well the next job is the 12 volt supply. So we have got temporarily down there the battery. Uh, I, am, I have a battery box uh, which I've carried around with me <laughs> since my very first boat uh, and now I actually get a chance to use it. Um, so a friend of mine is making up a stainless steel sort of sledge if you like um, to go over the wooden plinth I've made uh, with a couple of tabs on so I can secure it. So the battery will be in the box, tied down to this contraption. Uh, I have got a 50 amp trip. I can't see me ever getting anywhere near 50 amps, but it's a 95 amp hour battery. So that will protect it against short circuit. I can't see it ever being overloaded, but uh, we're gonna put that in line. So we're just making up some cable leads. Cable leads, some cables. So I'm using 16 mil. Um, again, slightly overkill, but we've got a two and a half meter length between the battery and the fuse boxes instrument panel so I'm using 16 mil it's not too expensive it's the ultra flexible stuff so here we go that's a 16 mil crimp I'm going to crimp and solder uh, I served an electronic apprenticeship and we were always taught to make a mechanical connection and then solder so if the solder fails for any reason the mechanical connection will keep it in place. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So all I need to do now is to 
fire up Big Bertha. I've got this for an old mate. It's sadly passed on. Good old Colin here. Around the world yachtsman. He had tools for everything. I managed to uh, get hold of this long plug solder line. I think it's what you call a heavy juicy one. Short power's up to it. <coughs> no, that's all. Right. Uh, and of course, I haven't got my soldering iron stand with me, so I have to find somewhere to. proper lead solder. I don't like this new stuff. It doesn't solder nicely, it doesn't flow. This is multi-core, so it's proper lead solder, lead and antimony, antimony, uh, with flux in the middle of it. That's what we used to use as an apprentice. Good stuff, if you can get hold of it. So the solving line heats up, it's about a 10 minute job. So end of the day, uh, a lot of making making off terminals. So I haven't videoed that. You see one, them see them all. Uh, but we have got the negative feed up to the negative bus bar. I'm going to put a positive bus bar in there to feed the two panels. Oh, so the cable comes along here. Isolator, main fuse, uh, the shunt for the battery monitor. Uh, you need to turn the battery around so we've got the positive at the back and negative at the front because this can't be changed. So that's got to go straight onto the terminal. So yeah, that's uh, that's a day's work. Superstitious to be seriously examined, and he thrust it aside. But it was on the canvas. 
house behaving reasonably. But she would find a time to have a word with him about these one nighters. It was really necessary to have to take a preliminary look at the facilities. She didn't want the manor degenerating into a bed and breakfast hotel. On second thoughts, perhaps it would be wiser not to raise the matter. He'd always been adamant that patients should be given the opportunity to see in advance where their operation was to take place. He would see any interference with his clinical judgment as intolerable. Their relationship had never been clearly defined, but there we have it. I... Working battery charger. I've still got to set it up, but uh, 12.8 volts, and I haven't touched that battery for nearly a year. <laughs> So it says, press and keep press the loom key until the word ENG is shown on the display. ENG. Releases it and adjust the capacity. Right, so it's a 95 ampere hour battery. Press the loom. Oh, there we go. Did not put the battery char on charge immediately. Apply a load to the battery by switching on lights. Well, we haven't got anything connected to it yet. So I guess that's going to be the next, I don't know whether 0.1 of an amp, the 1.1 of an amp must be the power for the battery monitor itself. So we need to find something we can connect. Hmm. So I left that on Friday working, uh, not illuminated obviously. I come back on Monday morning and there we go, 13.3, 13.4 amps, no current drain. As I would have expected. No current drain. Zero volts drain. Don't know what the five T stands so I'll pick that up. Zero degrees Celsius. I don't think so. So the battery's going to last more than 199 hours with no current drain. I should hope so. Hmm. Oh, I think I can safely say that works.
first set of cabin lights installed, LED strip, and fully functional. Hi everyone, as you can see, I am not on rock and roll in the UK. I'm on lovely hands with the owner skipper here, Lambros. Tell me how- Hello guys. What is, what is your boat? Uh, my boat is Scans 54, uh, epoxy. It's very nice, big one, beautiful comfort. Beautiful boat, beautiful yeah, It's boat. a beautiful, yes, yeah. it's a nice boat. Yeah. Thank you. And we just had a big day trip. So if you're anywhere near Skiathos, come down, see Lambros, and you'll have a fantastic day out. See you back in the UK. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. There's been a lot of uh, routing of cables and connections, which uh, you know, you've seen one, you've seen them all. So I haven't filmed everything. Um, we're getting a bit behind schedule, I think. The routing of the cables is taking a lot longer than I thought. Um, so there we go. A quick shout out to George, um, the Solent Boat Butler. His channel is Refit and Sail. Uh, he does a lot of work on Contessa 30s. So if you've got one of those boats, go and have a look at George. So thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, give me a thumbs up and a like, uh, and please leave some comments. Okay, see you next time.